<laughs> May ye be in heaven an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Yes, that's a traditional Irish blessing and a horrible Irish accent. Sorry about that. It's probably borderline offensive. I am the Mighty Plantain, and we are taking a look at the Irish Roots Pack from Saranac Brewing. Happy St. Paddy's Day. I figured this would be an appropriate time to cover these. So what we've got in here is we've got their Irish Red, their Irish Golden Ale, their Irish Lager, and their Irish Stout. And there's some talk about mixing them. I'm thinking they're making, thinking about doing the lager and the stout into a traditional black and tan. But I'm not that good at that. And, uh, yeah. This video will run too long if I try to do that and mess it up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Irish Golden Ale. Move on to the Irish Lager. Then we're going to go to the Irish Red. And then the Irish Stout. In this particular case, none of them seem to have very high IBUs, which is to be expected, so I'm just going to go in order from light to dark. So, like I said, we are going to start with the Irish Golden Ale. Get this one going. I'm going to try and get aggressive with the pores so I can get some decent heads on these because I always have trouble with that. I think I figured out what the problem is. I'm a little gun shy because I'm used to, from my ill-gotten, ill-spent youth, pouring soda. And if you get too aggressive with that, it's going to fizz and bubble up over the edge of the glass and make an awful mess. Um, beer tends to be a little bit more forgiving than that, so you can be more aggressive. And like I said, I've just been gun shy, so I'm going to try to get aggressive. So this is faintly effervescent. It does have a bit of a golden color to it, but it's a little bit copper as well. I would think of that more as an orangish copper than, than golden, but um, golden ale is more about the style than it is completely about the color. Um, yeah, slightly effervescent, quite clear, not cloudy at all. Not really anything standing out in the aroma, just a general beeriness to it. Not a whole lot of info on the, oh, there it is, 24 IBUs. So I am picking up on a little hint of hoppy bitterness, but at 24 IBUs, that should be just that hint that I'm getting. Nothing too crazy, and nothing distinct. Just a general beeriness in the aroma and a little bit of hoppy bitterness. It's a very smooth beer. And it's got a nice medium light mouthfeel. It's not completely light. It's got a little bit of body to it, but not a whole lot. A little bit of hoppy bitterness in the finish, but overall just a smooth, easy, easy drinking beer. <clears throat> Nothing really standing out for me, and so overall, I gotta give this a two and a half out of five. It's just a nice average beer. Um, like I said, nothing crazy, nothing standing out, but nothing bad about it either. Very easy to drink. I could sit down with a handful of these and be happy for the night. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up, and then we will move on to the Irish Lager. Alright, so next up, we've got the Irish Lager. Once again, not a whole lot of info about the beer on here. Hey, 20 IBUs. This one's actually slightly less hoppy. But again... <clears throat> None of these is really intended to be a very hoppy brew, so I don't think the bitterness is going to interfere with the flavor of any of the uh, following beers. Got a decent head on that one. Maybe the aggressive pour is working out for me. 
with any luck I'll be able to keep doing that so you guys will see a decent head in every video. <clears throat> All right. Slightly less effervescent than the Golden Ale. Now, it's actually got a very similar color. This one might actually be a little bit... A little bit darker, but not by a whole lot. Um, it's consistently darker. I think with the Golden Ale, you noticed where the glass got thinner, the, uh, the beer got paler. This seems to maintain a more consistent color even when the, uh, the glass gets thinner. Still very clear, not cloudy at all. It's got a slightly more grainy aroma. than the last one, but still nothing really distinct or, or um, nothing really distinct or, or crazy coming forward. Less of the hoppy bitterness in the aroma. I mean, it's slightly lower in IBUs, so no surprise there, but, you know, even four IBUs doesn't really make a huge difference, so I'm surprised I'm not getting any kind of hoppy aroma at all. Nice medium mouthfeel. It's got a little more body than the last one. Tiny hint of hoppy bitterness in the finish. Mostly a very grainy beer though. I don't know, I almost want to say weedy, but um, I don't believe that a traditional Irish lager is made with a lot of wheat. Of course, it's got a picture of wheat on there, so I could be wrong about that. But it, it's very, very grainy. Um, not unpleasantly so. And just a hint of hoppy bitterness in the finish. It's definitely going down easy. It's a bit more crisp and refreshing than the last one. There's still nothing really major. Ooh, pardon. Still nothing really major that's making it stand out, but I think I'm going to hit this with a 3 out of 5. Um, again, it's not crazy. It's not out there. It's just a nice, average, easy drinking beer, but the fact that it is giving me that nice grainy flavor and um, the medium mouth feel a little more body to it. It's got a bit more solidity than the last brew and a bit more solidity than I'm used to from a regular average beer. So I'm gonna bump it up just a little bit above average to a three out of five. Um, bear in mind, I don't think I've mentioned this yet in this video, but a two and a half on a scale of one to five is exactly in the middle. It's a nice average beer, which is what the um, the blonde ale came in as there i'm sorry irish golden ale i said blonde i meant to say golden but yeah just a nice solid slightly above average beer nothing crazy nothing to write home well i wouldn't necessarily say nothing to write home about but um nothing too outstanding but nothing bad either so i'm going to finish this one up And I'm going to move on to the Irish Red, which should be interesting. I like a nice red beer, and um, I'm a fan of Sam Adams Irish Red, Killian's Irish Red, a couple of other Irish Reds, so it'll be interesting to see how, how Saranax stacks up. All right, so we are now checking out the Irish Red Ale. Ooh, I didn't notice that before. It's rather... Lovely, lovely lass on the label. I'm a sucker for redheads. Bet you didn't know that. Well, some of you did. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got enough beer in me at this point that I could probably have a few more and just have a nice chat with the lady on the label. <clears throat> 
that's why I used to like St. Pauli girl folks. Drink the whole six pack, and then uh, you got a pretty girl to talk to when you're done. Right? You know what I'm talking about, Destroya. EM Destroyer. Buddy of mine. Long time drinking buddy. Occasional guest on this uh, channel and uh, regular viewer. Oh, yeah. We used to drink many St. Pauli girls together. Anyway, there she is. Cute old redhead. Mm. Better hope my wife isn't watching this. She'll have a fit. Anyway, so the Irish Red. And 17 IBUs. This one's actually even lower than the. Uh, <laughs> I might be doing this in the wrong order. Nice and grainy. Maybe a slightly sweet aroma. Hmm. A little bit of roastiness, a little bit of sweetness in the aroma. I can give you a look at it. Holy crap. Probably shouldn't have drank that uh, big bottle of Arrogant Bastard Ale before I started this variety pack. I'm starting to feel it a little bit more than I should. Not very effervescent, but definitely a nice, rich red color. Quite clear, not cloudy at all. But yeah, just grainy and sweet. Yeah. Got a nice medium mouthfeel. Very grainy, a little bit sweet in the finish, slight bit of bitterness. Um, I mentioned before the, the Sam Adams Irish Red, and they tend to go hop heavy with their red. It's uh, got a lot of East Kent Golding's hops in it, and I believe the IBUs are definitely higher than 17 because it's got a very distinct hoppy character to it. This doesn't have that hoppy character at all. There's just a slight bit of bitterness in the finish, and that bitterness might come from the roasty character of the malt versus the um, versus any sort of hop character in there, especially at only 17 IBUs. Uh, I did mention George Killian's as well, which Killian's is kind of a wide appeal red. It's, um, pardon. I, I, I hate to throw this out there, but it's like, an Americanized Budweiser with a little bit more character. It's um, it's an Irish red distinctly within the style, but it's a very mellow one that, that's designed to appeal to a broad range of American palates. Boy, don't I sound a little fucking hoity-toity there. But anyway, the um, I do prefer the hoppiness of the Sam Adams Irish red over the non-hoppiness of this Saranac one, but the Saranac is very nice. Like I said, it's got a good medium mouthfeel, nice uh, roasty and sweet character in the finish, but overall just a, a very solid graininess to it. I'm going to put this one at a solid 3 out of 5 as well. Um, it's definitely an above average beer, distinct within its style, but nothing too crazy or outstanding. And yes, I'm resisting the urge to give it a little bit of extra points because of the label. Um, I'm just basing this on the beer itself. But definitely a very good, very solid beer and uh, quite enjoyable. I'm going to finish this one up, maybe not as quickly as the... Uh, Maybe not as quickly as the, um, the Golden Lager, because uh, it's going to take a little bit longer to drink, but uh, still a very good beer. I'm savoring it more, and so I would say I'm enjoying it more than I did the Golden Lager. Just not, it's just not um, distinguishing itself enough to give, get me to, to rate it higher than the Golden Lager, but... <clears throat> Ooh, pardon. At this point, I'm just belching and babbling. So I'm going to finish this up, and we're going to move on to the fourth and final, the Irish Stout. All right, so we are up to the fourth and final beer in the Irish Roots pack. 
This is the Irish Stout from Saranac, and um, interestingly enough, it's at 30 IBUs, which makes it the most bitter beer in the entire pack, which isn't, a, isn't usual for a stout. I mean, it's not unusual for a stout to hit up to 30 IBUs or higher, but it is unusual for that to be the highest um, bitterness beer in a typical variety pack. Usually you have at least one IPA or one pale ale or something that's designed to be hoppy or bitter. That has got a nice head on it. Got a good job there. And it is dark, dark, dark. Darker than midnight. A little bit of light coming through in the thinner parts of the glass. So slightly brown, but mostly a completely black stout. Doesn't appear to be very effervescent. Interestingly, I'm not getting much of an aroma at all off of it. Nothing roasty or grainy or anything at all, really. Hmm. It's got a nice medium heavy mouthfeel. It's not um, not really thick. Com really thick or heavy, just um, heavier than most of the others. Definitely a stout. Again, mean, it's nice and thick, little creamy. It's got that medium heavy mouthfeel, and then it, it finishes with a nice roasted character. Maybe a hint of chocolate in the finish. Nothing too crazy, though. All in all, a decent stout. Again, nothing that's really standing out from the crowd. Um, I'm going to hit this with a 2.5 out of 5. It's definitely distinctly a stout. It's got some character to it, but it's not really distinguishing itself from the crowd of just basic stouts out there. Um... Just a heavier beer with some nice roasty notes and a hint of chocolate in the finish, but not um, not really crazy, not really different. Uh, it kind of falls in with the Guinnesses and, and all the other basic stouts out there. Ooh, pardon, which may be, may be the point. You know, it's Irish Roots Pack, obviously designed to be marketed around St. Paddy's Day. So in terms of standouts it's not they're not going to go too crazy with the beers because this is and this is just my opinion here this is designed to be marketed towards people who might not be all that adventurous in their beer buying and their beer tasting they might just be looking for something a little different for the the saint patrick's day season um so they're going to make something that's a little bit more basic that's going to appeal to a wide array of palettes and not be too crazy or out there which is good because this is a great starter pack if you've got something going on and you want to start introducing people to different beer styles grab this because it's got a good stout it's got a good lager it's got a nice red a nice irish red and a nice gold nail and from here, people can taste these and decide what they like about each style. And then you know which way to steer them to kind of introduce them to more adventurous craft beers. And again, this is just speculation on my part and my opinion, but I, th I think this is a great marketing tool and a great introductory pack. It's a, it's a way to just kind of give people a little taste of different beer styles when they might be used to just something basic. So again, it, it's, there's no great standouts here. There's a couple that are slightly above average. The other two are nice average beers within the style. So nothing bad in the pack. It's a good investment and it's something you should definitely share. So you can get... It's something you should definitely share 
and you should share it with your non-craft beer drinking friends so that they can kind of get an idea of what the some of the different styles are about and like I said once you know what they like you know oh well I, I really like this one I really like that uh, that stout it's got some character to it that I really like I like the smokiness I like the fact that it tastes like roasted nuts I, well, there's not really a nuttiness to it but you know what I mean they're going to associate it with something that they're familiar with instead of like a roasted grain flavor they're just going to associate with roasted anyway I'm babbling at this point um, but again it, this beer pack has got its place it's a nice introductory pack for people who are looking to check out some different styles Again, no real standouts from the crowd, but a really good solid offering. And honestly, it's St. Patty's Day. Just drink the damn Irish-based beers and enjoy them. Because there, there are no losers in this pack. There's nothing I'm going to get really uh, crazy about, but there's nothing I regret buying either. So, really solid offerings. I'm never disappointed by anything from Saranac. I mean, maybe there's been a couple I haven't cared for, but overall, they got some really decent beers, and they um, they don't disappoint. Yeah. I guess I should just stop talking about it at this point. Make sure to hit me up down in the comments and the email link down below. I'd like to hear what you have to say about any of the beers in this pack. Uh, whether you agree or disagree, I still like to discuss your opinion, hear what you have to say. While you're down there, make sure to hit me up with a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe, you get a notification whenever a new beer review is posted or any of the other assorted jackassery I film gets posted. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Happy St. Paddy's Day.